he's in the process of, of doing a deal to go to Calgary. Is that uh, something that is a, a good thing for, for all sides concerned? First of all, um, I didn't hear anything about that anything is finally sorted, so nothing to say for me about that. But I said before, in general, it's possible that players still will leave the club. And if that happens, then it's always... Um, then it would be always good for both sides, or all three sides. Even. So that's that's the target. Let's go what we have in this circumstance. So we will see what happens. Terrific start, uh, obviously, against West Ham. Um, the first bell was rung. Rocky Balboa came out swinging. Uh, landed a great first blow. Um, do well, you understand? <laughs> it's a great, it's a great isn't it? I could go on for hours. Maybe, I know. Um, but do you understand? I know you tried to sort of play things down a little bit, and, and, and you don't want people to get carried away, but can you understand why there's so much excitement around Liverpool's start? Yeah, it's nice, actually, it's nice. It could be completely different. You know, that, that's, that's how it is. We said that, we, we feel in a good moment already since a few weeks, months, I don't say years, but it's, it's getting better and better. So that's a very important thing because we are still in the process. We, we, are still, we have to develop, that's what I said. We are not um, the best team in the world, so there's a lot of space for us to, to improve in all, in all the different departments and that's uh, what we try to do and obviously, and that's very important because we are not alone, um, our supporters like the way we do it, so that's very important because um, i said a few times, if one if you cannot deliver or the sports ask for something impossible, then it's not a very healthy situation. And we feel it's a healthy situation at the moment. That's pretty much everything. It's nothing else. So, yes, against West Ham was good. But um, I saw Crystal Palace uh, playing the first game against um, uh, Fulham. And obviously, um, they are unbeaten. I don't know how long. Um, probably we are the last one who won there, and that's quite, it's a while ago. Um, and it was difficult that day already. Um, so they are, they're grown as a group. Um, Roy is doing a fantastic job there. Um, when I started as a manager, and, oh, when I, and uh, as a player, when we started playing 4-4-2, saw a lot of videos of, from Switzerland, from Roy Hodgson, so more or less one of the inventors of this kind of defending, and now it's back on track with that obviously so very well organized side very very good and um, that will be a, a tough challenge to be honest but that's how it is so yes the start was good but that's already done if you want and uh, and, uh, and the feeling around the club, club is good as well you are right but then um, that's only because of the not only but the big part of that is other performances and the results we got in the last few months and so that's what we have to, to do again and again and again. And so nobody thinks in a moment about um, the atmosphere or whatever. We really want to work. We really want to play football and to, to, to fight for each point which we can get. And um, yeah. to, to stick with Rocky, sometimes he went down, but at the end <laughs> he, was, he, he won the, at least that fight. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing. We, we need to be ready for all the different things that can happen in a season, in a football game. West Ham was, was nearly perfect, so nothing really happened in that game, but could have happened, but it, it was because we defended really well, so they had their chances, but it was one time the ref was pretty involved in that, not with the wrong decision, but with a nice pass, and, um, and the, the other one was, was a long ball in behind, so that was... Um, was, was the, well, the only dip, real difficulties we had in the set piece. So the boys were really spot on. We need to be spot on again. Um, Jürgen, going back to Ragnar then, um, do you, would you allow him to leave, bearing in mind the current situation you have with the injuries to your, to your other defenders? Should no player would leave that club if I not, would not allow it. So if, if he leaves, <coughs> then, and then I said yes to it. That's, okay. that's how it is. Um, just out of interest, how, because the market is still open, how many players do you expect to leave? Because you spoke last week that you expected players to go before the end of the month. You, uh, do you know how many you would allow to go? Or No. No, it's about the situation. It's about um, how is the offer, how is, um, how, first of all, it's how is the need. 
for us. So can we give them the opportunity if he wants to leave? Can we do that or not? That's it. And then there is an offer, and there's somebody else to accept the offer or not. I said it before that nobody should think. And that's the problem of that, maybe a bit of the problem of the transfer window. This because in England and the whole world and the whole European world at least was waiting for that moment and start now trying for dumping prices or whatever to, to, to get good football players. That will not that will not happen. So we are not in a financial need situation where we have to do that. Yeah. So we, I wanna have a very good squad together. The more player the better, but um, I, I really think that we have we could give a few players um, the opportunity, but we have to see how many. There's no number in my mind at the moment. Okay. Yeah, can, um, Sadio Mane started the season very impressively, two goals and looked sharp as well in, in the pre-season matches. After the game, he spoke, maybe partially tongue-in-cheek, but, but about the three main strikers having a bit of a competitive edge as to who gets the most goals. I mean, that's obviously always been instinctive with front players, but how valuable an asset could that be, do you think, moving forward? I think I saw that interview. It was a man of the match interview with Millie, right? Mm -hmm. It was a question, not that he started saying that. He said, is there a competition? Yes, and, and he said, always. And so he it's said like, it yeah, they don't have real competition, they don't count mm -hmm. the goals of, of the other guy. Um, or whatever, it's, um, they, are all, they like to enjoy playing together, that's very good. And um, I, I really love the fact that we have the possibility to, to bring even other players in with similar qualities, which is really nice. But um, it's not about um, having a competition, I think, uh, between strikers, about really um, love working together. And that's what, you, what is obvious, I would say. And um, I, don't, I don't think that they are really uh, bothered in a moment about a specific, specific <laughs> number of goals. They only want to, want to win football games. And as a striker, they are, by the way, I'm not sure of, of, if I want to say Sadio is a striker. He's a very offensive midfield player, it's true. Um, but they, um, they want to win football games and they, 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 they like um, the way we play and they, they, they get the benefit of that and they give a lot, of, a lot of things back to the team with their defensive work and all that stuff. So that's just a good situation, but it doesn't work differently. It cannot be. You know, with football games, um, if if you have um, players and they don't they don't like to work, that's not how it possible. It's different different work to do on a pitch. That's clear, but um, it's still a lot of work. And I said it after West Ham game. So the um, the midfield was the, made a key difference in that game because they they were really in a in a in a working in a work mood, and uh, they had. 12 and a half, 12, 7, whatever kilometers in their legs after the game, and you don't need that in a game when it's easy. Then you can, then a midfield player has kind of 11 kilometers. So we had to close a lot of gaps in that game. That it could look like it looked, and that's the that's the thing we have to do again in a completely different game next Monday, Monday night. Fantastic atmosphere there. Um, they won the first game as well, so full of confidence, stuff like that. It's a completely different game, and uh, we need to be—we need to make sure that we are really ready for that. After all the positive stories during the week, which is probably the, the biggest challenge, if you have a, a long run. Obviously, people are still not used to um, enough to good football from us. It's always like it's when we are good, then it's like you are unbelievable good, but we didn't get anything for it so far. Not really. So we need to learn all that. Stay positive, very good, but stay angry as well. That's that's how it is. And don't celebrate the whole week until next Monday, and then fall hard or whatever. We, I think we, we can do that in in, in training. But um, I said in a meeting to the boys, it's uh, everybody. If we are good, then the people are not the supporters. Journalists are overly excited, and even LSC TV wants to do constantly wonderful stories and stuff like that. And it's so nice, everything, and he's good with him, and he's good with him. But we have to work and not um, do first and foremost these things. Joe Gomez hasn't had much luck with injuries since you became manager. Um, excellent. That changed. Excellent last week uh, alongside Virgil Van Dijk. And given the fact that, that maybe you're allowing Ragnar Klavan to move on, Dayan Lovren has got a problem injury-wise this season, is that indicative of, of, of the progress that you see that, uh, that Joe's making at the moment? 
was very important, important. I was never in doubt about Joa so, um, and his um, ability to play as centre half, but it needed time. So after a long injury, um, and have been fullback is a very important position, but um, you still have most of the time at least one centre half in your back still. So I think it helps, in, especially in defending moments. Um, and it, you now he's. Um, He's fit, which is very good, and I'm um, a very good football player and play the position good. And uh, yes, together with Virgil, they have a very good understanding um, on the personal level as well. So that's 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 really cool. Um, but we have the others as well, and, and Joel is close to be back, um, probably, hopefully able to be in the squad at, uh, at on Monday. So then we have him. Then we have um, yes, Dejan still a bit injured. Um, we have Ned Phillips um, and. If we need, uh, then um, Fabinho can play the position as well. So that's good. But um, they, are, they should play, of course, another position. But it's all that's all good. So we have uh, we have enough players, and now that we have to see who is fit, who fits to which opponent the best, and then we make a lineup. So, but um, that he can be that he can play that position really well. I, I knew before. Um, Wilfred Zaha signed a new contract with Palace obviously this week. He was linked on and Roy. All, all summer. <laughs> um, how important is he to their team? How, <laughs> how highly do you rate him? No, very important, of course. I, the last year was maybe the best example for it, but I really think um, with all the good results they had, they, the, the confidence grew um, a lot um, in the last year. So you could see that last period of the season, they, they were very consistent with results. Um, Pre-season was, was okay, it was good. Uh, and too good, uh, too good, and um, and um, now the first game was good. So he scored, yes, but uh, the, the, they played, they played real football. And uh, uh, I think three or four of their new players were not even a squad or didn't didn't start. So um, with Kuyate, for example, Max Meyer, for example, in the creative um, um, era of the pitch, they, they can make the difference. So, but um, Milojevic and MacArthur doing well. Townsend is a, is a fantastic football player. And um, Schlup in a slightly different position, so it's just a good football team. Now they have the speed um, on, on the wings and all, uh, all these things. Both both um, fullbacks are pretty quick, and, and all these things very experienced centre halves. So that's a that's a really good good football team. And um, but of course you always need each team needs. Um, it's good if you have different players to make these decisive things, but if it's then only one and he's doing it constantly, it's good as well. So that was uh, what he's doing for, for Crystal Palace, so uh, I think they are pretty happy that he signed a new contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we know obviously uh, Christian Canteke has not had a, a wonderful time the last year or so, he missed, missed out on the World Cup. Do, do you feel like he's someone who has another, another life in him? Well, yeah, yeah I, I think everybody who would think about writing Christian Mantego makes a big mistake because his, his obvious skills are always there. He's a, even if he didn't, didn't score too often last season, um, it is, um, he has always opportunities. First game again, um, after set pieces, the headers, it's, quite, it's really difficult. It's a big challenge and a, a tough challenge to, to defend set pieces when Christian is around. Um, so that's already different. He will score goals when you see that. There's no, no doubt about that. They brought in IU, who played a really good season, even when Swansea um, had to. Or got relegated, but he played a really good season, maybe the best I've seen of him in the last few years. So that's um, that's all. That's a it's a good team. So no spectacular transfers, if you want. You can see Saha maybe as like a very spectacular transfer, which is a good one. Um, Roy has really calmed the whole situation down there in a very difficult moment. Used all his experience, and uh, now um, they they start.